right, result with the table. The plan is we're at the Boathouse for Lunch, which has been on our list for what? Two years now. Yep. So we finally made it to the Boathouse for Lunch. It looked really busy inside, but we got the corner table on the outside. So that's been a result. Then we're going to the mall. We're going to do our shopping today because it's a hot day. So we spend the hottest part of the day at the mall. And then we're thinking Animal Kingdom, but we've said that a couple of times on this trip. So we're not 100% sure. <laughs> that is currently the plan. <laughs> I don't know about those cars, you know. We've said this, haven't we? They're yeah. a little close to the water. Like, they're, they're really... Like in the water. Yeah, like, you, you touch if you put your arm over the side, you could touch the water. They are very, very close. And uh, I'm not the most confident on boats. Even I don't really want yeah, to fly. <laughs> they're a little close. If, yeah. you're, if you're a bit like us, I would recommend, if you want to go out on the lake, just grab the boat over from the Disney Springs port and take it over to, like what riverside or you can yeah. go to old key west or and you get the same experience and you don't have to pay for it like you know because that i think it's quite pricey yeah. it would be a really cool experience but you can do it for free on a much bigger boat right now we've heard things about this bread it's meant to be the best starter bread on disney property which is a big ask because the bread at the Yachtsman Steakhouse is absolutely elite. But this is different. It's got like a glaze on it. And what have we got here? Is that like a garlic butter? What, what are we looking at? I think it's just like a butter. Look at us thinking we're fancy with bread and butter and fancy butter. bread. Yeah. Okay. It does look really good though. Right, let me get my plate out. Let's be all sophisticated and things come on. I'm excited. What a view. Look at the view. Right. Sensational. Ready? First bite. Yeah, have a little go. Is it good good? But is it like yachtsman bread good? It's different. It's just a bread roll, but the best bread roll you've ever had in your life. It's a little bit sweet. Okay. It's warm. Alright. It's got a little, slight little punch on the top. It's good. It is good. But it's different. I'd say yachtsman still wins. Okay. Just because. Bold calls. It's yeah, you get a bit of variety with the Osman bread as well. The garlic butter, it's just normal butter, but it is really good. Yeah, it might be a little bit of an unfair match-up, to be fair, because the bread at the Yachtsman is designed to be like this fancy beginning yeah. thing with like this the... This is good. It's like a little bit sweet, but also just like, it's unreal. Not okay. Sweet. All right. Very, very good. That is really nice. Compared to the Yachtsman? It's very different to the Yachtsman bread. The Osman still edges it, but that is a very close second. Like, it's a different, I get what you mean, very different. It's more like a, like in the UK, it's got like a hot cross bun. Yeah. Vibe to it. Definitely. With a little butter on it, very nice. Check these out. Filet mignon sliders, garlic butter in there. They look good, right? So good. <laughs> right, let me give these a little bit. Oh my God. Isn't it unreal? <laughs> it's so good. That's like Yachtsman quality steak. Like yeah. You get a Disney filet mignon in a brioche bun. Absolutely melts in the mouth. How's it looking over here? So good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you so much. That's one of the best lunches I've ever had on Disney property. Yeah. So good. Okay, final review of the boathouse. Very, very good. It was hot it, though. Yeah, very hot. So we were sat outside, which was unreal, like unreal view, but it was very warm. We were in the shade, but it was hot by the end. You don't like eating when you're that hot. You no. It, we, we said like it's the trade off of having like a really great view, and like the inside of the restaurant in there is, was really busy and like loud. Yeah. Or you sit inside in the aircon to eat, but like by the time I was done eating, I was done. Like, I'm Yeah, hot. we were hot. I'm full, <laughs> so and, like, get me out of here kind of thing. But yeah. I can't let that discredit the food at the restaurant. Like, the boathouse is really, really nice, and the food was For the price. Phenomenal. Yeah. And we found out that the so, sliders, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, so they're two say. two ounce um, pieces of filet. So it's a four ounce steak, basically, split into two sliders. Um, and it was really, really good. Really good. Like, I was very impressed. That's one of the best lunches I've had, I think. Yeah. The food was good. Great value for, like, the whole meal with tax and everything came to, like, $40 for the two of us. And if you think, like, it's a restaurant with a view on yeah. the water. We had two filet sliders each, and it was $20 each. 
And that was a big, like, it was just enough food, but I, I couldn't finish mine. Like, it was. It was a lot. It was a like, good yeah, I was portion. done by the time I'd finished eating. Yeah. Yeah. Really, so really good. So, we are grateful to be back in the aircon because it's very hot today. Yeah. And I'm um, going to go to the mall and see what's up. Yeah. Hans saw a huge wall of plushies from outside the store. So, here we are. Look at him. <laughs> this is the first shop we were in at the mall. Because <laughs> Anne's just. <laughs> I want all of them. Can't have all of them. <laughs> oh. Are you telling me they might do lounge flies in there? Yes. Which one? Your green one? Oh, from Hot Topic. Okay, let's have a little look. Oh, now that's cool. It's a Harry Potter lounge fly. That's a, like a Marauder's Map thing. That's pretty sick. That's cool. That is really cool. Mini and mini one down the bottom as well. Oh, that's pretty. That one. We're going to have lounge flies for every day of the week before too long. That's so nice. <laughs> they haven't got many. But Not Disney ones, but they do have loads of different ones. Wow, how cool that there's a hot topic shop in here. That I didn't cool. even know that this was here. Well, there you go. Now, Bath and Body Works is one of our favorite shops at the mall, but they do have one near us at home now, but there's way more stuff in the American ones and it just smells incredible. This is gonna cost Han some money. <laughs> so Han loves these, like hand sanitizers. You get five for $8. They're so good, like I will put this on my hand and then you will literally smell it and be like, what is it? It smells so good. She does it in the car all the time and I'm like, oh, they are really good. Yeah, you get some crazy flavors. Like what we got here? Champagne toast, it's not gonna focus. You have to take my word for it. It says champagne toast. Frozen lake. Fresh sparkling snow, frozen lake. Yeah, these are really good. But we can't get, like there is a Bath and Body Works in the UK now that we can go to, but they don't do these. They don't do these. And obviously they work the prices up. That's also true. So expensive. So and then, even though they've got a shop in Blue Water Thinking, everything's yeah. so expensive. So and these, the room sprays, the instant room filling fragrances. Smell you get from one spray. This is they're so good, and these say room sprays, but we recommend having one of these in your car. Yeah, put one in your car because your car will way better than like a, a car freshener or something. One spritz of this when you get in the car, it will like your car will smell amazing. And there's so many of them. Look, like this, this white t shirt, yeah, one of Hans' favorites, mahogany teakwood. Uh, fresh fall morning, I bet that's oh. absolutely amazing. Leather and brandy, like these these are really good and like they work in a room but like for your car they're so great. I told you it was gonna cost us money. 40 pounds, but for that I got five hand sanitizers, six car refill things, and then you've got two, two sprays. Two sprays, yeah, well. yeah. Okay. Two sprays, and I'm gonna use them in the car. Hey, the last time I bought sprays in Bath and Body Works, there was a three for something deal and one of them went completely missing. Where did that go? <laughs> Whoa, the M&M shop's gone. Yeah. That's gone. Nobody wants M&Ms anymore. Crazy. She's making an absolute beeline for Build-A-Bear. <laughs> There's a giant one. Uh -huh. I love Dick Sporting Goods. This is nice. That is like a nice that. one. You nice like that one? Back, yeah. yeah, okay. That's the first dolphin that I've seen that I've actually liked. Alright. See the tour jerseys. That's my guy. There's just so much stuff in here. I, I could spend a lot of money in here on comfy there's, slash gym there's, stuff. There's golf into football. Yeah. Remember, like, niche everything. Yeah. Baseball, basketball. Great shop. All the different brands. Yeah. And we have, like, in the UK, we have, like, Sports Direct. <laughs> Which, compared to this, <laughs> when, in Sports Direct, you can buy, what, like, Lonsdale trousers or, or like, like a wear. Gap jumper. JD Sports where they literally have the music. Oh yeah, well you can't hear a word. Yeah, this love that. 
at this, you've got like all the like top quality like Adidas stuff, Nike shorts, basketball shorts, Jordan jerseys, everything you could ever need. Like look at all these, like all these different pants and leggings. Ooh. Nice. They always have plenty of gator stuff. <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> Never a dull moment with this one. There's always something she's up to. Yeah, she's on she's on one. Yes. <laughs> oh she's got the dog. <laughs> what are you doing? Waddle waddle. Waddle waddle. <laughs> Hey, found your pants. Whoa, we didn't break the bank too much. I'm actually really proud of my Yeah. Pants. Right. <laughs> and what did you just say? We're walking past Zara. I said that I'm not even going to step foot in there because it's a massive Zara yeah. Yeah. And that'll undo all the hard work we just did to not spend a fortune in the shop. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're just going to hope that I'm in focus because I cannot actually see anything. So, next stop, <laughs> hair on my face is Animal Kingdom. We had a little look at Avatar, because that's one of the things we want to do, the Flight of Passage again. And it was saying, what was it saying, 80 minutes? Yeah, well it said 20, and then the next time yeah. it said 80. It said so. 20, and we were thinking result. And we had another look, and now it's said 80. But, what's the time? Eight, four o'clock. By the time we get there, what's it gonna be? Like nearly five. If it's anything like the other day when we went, in the like afternoon, evening, there was literally like no wait. So yeah, so we were debating like, do we just get, because obviously this is the last time we're going to go to Animal Kingdom today now. So we were debating like, do we, do we just pay for a fast pass, make sure we get on it, like it's another $13 each, mm. or do we just go and get in the queue? So we're just going to head down there. And see what we're going to head down, see what it's like. It doesn't seem busy. No, it doesn't seem busy. And if we don't go on Avatar straight away, then we'll probably just do the, trails and see the tigers and stuff so we're excited oh my god I nearly just I literally nearly pulled the door off oh how the hell did that happen oh right Christ we're gonna miss this oh, though that is I just put my elbow on there it's hot. It hot yeah way too hot oh my gosh that's like a burn I've been outside for 12 seconds and my head is wet <laughs> the crocs right. are coming off oh my gosh Oh, also, update on the feet scenario, in no, case no, anyone wants to know. No. Two blisters. No one wants to know about your blisters. <laughs> Two cuts, and that's all. It just never gets old, does it? Okay, pulled up at the lodge. Probably a couple of hours in Animal Kingdom now. I think we're both just knackered today. We've just like been saying, way. like, we're, we're almost, we're done with, like, eating a ton. Like, we've eaten a lot of food, all very unhealthy, and we always say, like, Two weeks is about the max amount of time that we can do that for. So like, just like fries and burgers and things, I just feel like I can't do it anymore. Like, but we're probably going to do it for another couple of days. Yeah, let's be real. <laughs> anyway, we're at Animal Kingdom Lodge. We're going to go and do Animal Kingdom for a couple of hours. Last time in the Animal Kingdoms for this trip. Always hate saying goodbye to the park, so that's going to suck when we leave. But when we get out, it's going to be getting dark, so it'll be a nice little evening vibe. Six minutes. Yes. I am not surprised that we're coming back here at this time, considering how much we loved it the other day. Yeah, we loved it. That was one of my favorite. Yeah, last couple of hours that Animal Kingdom is open, it was glorious. So we're doing it again on our last visit. I know it sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> so we're on the trails now. 
So I want to see the gorillas and the hippo. I love seeing the hippo. Oh so my god, I forgot that. about the hippo. I forgot about the hippo. But we are flagging today. Like Han is three, oh, Han is three steps behind me every time I turn around, just like struggling. And I'm trying to power it. through so I can go home and lay down. So we what are. What's wrong with us? <laughs> we're just, like, we're just worn out. Just like it's been, a, we've been, it's been a very busy holiday. We are worn out, having the most amazing time, but I think tired is the word today. Can I just say something? We're going in to see my most careful uh, spiders and frogs spiders and, and snakes. snakes. Yeah, snakes as well. Hey, little guy. He's a big boy, isn't he? Right, so Han's worried that she can't see a snake, which means that it might be out. <laughs> I mean, one thing when you can't see the snake is either in the hibernations or it's out here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> does, it, does that show on the camera? It should. Yeah. Yeah, it does. So scorpions glow blue. Yeah. Wow. Did not know that. <laughs> Bless him, he was very sweet. He was, so he was very sweet. sweet. He showed us the scorpions. I think you could see it just on the camera, but literally yeah. in the light, the scorpions glow like this color. Yeah. Like that, literally. that's amazing. Yeah. I did not know that. Some scorpions, bright blue, glow in the dark. This is always one of my favorite bits. You love the fish. The fish you? are beautiful. I do love fish. It's really like weird. Fish, yeah. But my, uh, my granddad used to take me to like go and see like big fish tanks and stuff and like look at all the koi's and big bright colored fish. So maybe I just like retained it yeah, from my childhood. Probably. Maybe. <gasps> How cool are they? I love them. Oh my goodness. They are brilliant. <laughs> oh. In the grass. How cute. Okay, so we've just spotted a massive gorilla. Yeah, big boy. <laughs> Holy, that's the best clip footage visual I've ever had of a gorilla. When it got up, that was I was wild. like, wild. Yeah. What? 390 pounds, they say. That gorilla is 390 pounds. That is incredible. I think that's three of me. And like, maybe not after the two weeks just, in Florida. The though. guy's just all oh, muscle, just, just a big dude, you know. Yeah. I respect gorillas so much, mainly because they could rip my head from my body. Just amazing. That was that was amazing. That was so good. This music's a vibe. <laughs> We back. We back, baby. Oh, wow. <laughs> One absolute result getting on the ride just before the park closed because now. We missed it the other day, and now oh, it's God. dark. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> I mean, what time is it now? Uh, 7.51. Yeah, so it's like nearly an hour after the park closed. No, stop. Oh my God, it's amazing. <laughs> I've just seen it over the wall. Oh <laughs> There's a rabbit there, look. What? There's a rabbit literally on the path. Oh my god! Am I all like blowing the dark? I can only see your shirt. Oh really? Yeah. That's <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Yeah, the floor. Like the camera is actually doing an incredible job on this. Really? Yeah, like if it looks anything like this when it comes out. Look over there. Honestly, like I love Avatar during the day. This is a But level. Avatar at night 
We really wanted to see this as well. Like, this is a that worked out perfectly. This is amazing. This is amazing. Wow. wow. This is so cool. All of Animal Kingdom at night is incredible. Yes. The habitat is incredible. But yes. Adora, but I want to see the tree. The whole. Oh my gosh. The whole I haven't seen the tree yet. Because you've never been here at night. At no. All. Oh, this is I mean, this is like an hour later than we should be here, like after the park closes. So honestly, the people that say to get in the Avatar queue, like 20 minutes before park close, Genius. do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, because this is so, like, so cool. And I think the tree's about to blow my mind as well. Show it to me. Oh man. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at that. And there's not a single person in front of me. That's amazing. It was worth waiting for Avatar for that image alone. That's amazing. How about that, eh? How about it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, it really sucks to be saying goodbye to the park. I nearly yeah. had a go. I feel like Animal Kingdom has given us so much this year. It like, it's been amazing. Has. But what a way to say goodbye to the park. Yeah. Like, that was phenomenal. Like, Avatar, the ride, in the dark, and the tree, and everything. Like, if you're going to say goodbye to Animal Kingdom, like, that's the way to yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, it, so it was so good. <laughs> Hello, skeleton friends.